uh, good evening everybody we have uh, seen yesterday uh, the introduction what are the new features with dspace 7 and we have seen which operating system we have to choose to install dspace 7 and we have uh, seen the preliminary packages to install um, for the uh, install as a prerequisite to install dspace 7 yesterday we have uh, um, installed first we installed java development kit then we installed uh, zoller package then we installed postgresql uh, the next installation step is the installation of dspace 7 backend backend is the main thing everything works there first we install backend and then we install front end uh, for installation manual visit dspace geek.blogspot.com on the right side you can see uh, the installation manual install dspace 7 on debian 11 ubuntu 22.04 lts Um, okay, this installation manual suitable to install Dayspace 7 on Debian 11 version and Ubuntu 22.04. The first we installed, first we update the system using this command sudo apt update sudo apt upgrade. It makes the system new, it will download the latest package versions and it makes your system new. Then sudo, uh, we add a new user with the name dspace. We create a new account from the command line with the name dspace. And we added uh, a password for the new user. Then we assign all administrative privileges to the user dspace. Then we create a folder with the name dspace we created the purpose is that uh, dspace source code we store there after the installation and give the permission of the folder assigned to dspace account user then we install some prerequisite package to install dspace uh, those are wget for downloading packages, curl, curl is some um, installer uh, tool, JIT build essential mousepad, uh, mousepad is a notepad, zip and unzip, uh, that's a compression format or tool. Uh, suppose we download the packages in zip, we have to unzip it before installation, that's necessary. Then install open JDK, open JDK is the java development kit this is necessary to run the installed java based applications it create an environment in our system to run this java based application this space is a java based application then uh, we add <coughs> few lines to enable this configuration java configuration into the system then we installed maven and and these two packages necessary for uh, deploying uh, deploying this dspace packages into appropriate places downloading packages and deploy packages into appropriate places the next thing we have installed is in postgresql this is a rdbms package uh, relational database management system uh, same like uh, mysql or mariadb this is necessary to store metadata and other information uh, 
in D space. These packages we have to install to run PostgreSQL. Uh, this command is check the PostgreSQL version. In Ubuntu 22.04, uh, PostgreSQL version, Postgres version 14 will download and install. And we have to push, we have to start it, the PostgreSQL server. Then it will know the status of the PostgreSQL, whether it is running or not. Then we assign a root password for PostgreSQL uh, RDBMS. Then we try to log in whether this password is working. Then we exit, exit from the command prompt. Then we uh, create some configurations inside PostgreSQL. Then open, uh, we open one another file, configure system file and made some changes. Then restart PostgreSQL. Next is solar installation. Solar is a search engine running behind DSpace. It empower DSpace to make search. Someone search for a particular keyword. Um, this solar search engine search and retrieve the result. CD is the command to go uh, go inside the home folder. This is the command. Wget is the command to download a package in from solar website in zip format next command we unzip the package sudo unzip the pack this is the package name uh, this is the installation instruction or installation command to install solar okay after applying this command solar search engine will install uh, next we uh, enable and start this solar search engine these three commands apply one by one then uh, if you install dspace in a local system we copy this we copy this url into browser solar interface will come see here This is a solar interface. Then uh, we are going to install DSpace. Okay. Yesterday uh, we installed solar solar search engine. We and today we have to download DSpace package. This is the command to see the entire history of uh, commands we applied yesterday. Type here history in terminal, it will list out the commands we have yes, uh, applied yesterday. Up to this, we have applied. Okay, the, how many participants joined? 40. Okay, we resume with the DSpace installation backend, backend DSpace installation. See, for, uh, for this purpose, we have to create a folder with the name build inside root folder, sudo mkdar is the command to create a folder this is the location of the folder folder name is build okay we are going to install dspace backend copy this command apply it on the terminal see sudo mkdr a directory with the name build it created in the file browser or inside the PC. See here, build folder created. Okay, build folder created. 
Next is we are go inside this build folder to get inside a particular folder. We, we have to apply this command cd cd forward slash that's the root folder then folder name build okay cd space forward slash build enter we are inside build folder then this is the command to download wget wget download uh, D space backend backend package. Okay, this is the source code of the backend package. Uh, this is a zip file. This is the URL. Uh, I will show you the uh, place where we can download D space seven releases. Okay, this is the uh, download place. We copy the URL. See here, this is the URL. sudo wget, it will download the package into this folder, build folder. Paste it. See here, inside the build folder, the package is downloading. Okay, it downloaded very fast. Next is unzip the downloaded package. We are it's a compressed format. We have to extract it. The command is sudo unzip. Sudo is the administrative privilege. To get us administrative privilege, we uh, use the prompt sudo, then unzip, then package name. See here, it's unzipped in a separate folder. Then change the permission, ownership or permission of the um, build folder that is in public, make it public. That means anybody can make changes of the folder. sudo chmod777 anybody any user can make changes in that folder that means they can make changes or delete or uh, do something for example installation enter then uh, the next stage is the installation we will continue after the installation of tomcat tomcat is a servlet engine um, it acts as a server, like uh, Apache server for in Java environment. We are going to install Tomcat 9 version. It does not support Tomcat version 10. That is the latest one. Uh, this Tomcat 9 available with Ubuntu 22.04. Apply the command sudo apt install Tomcat 9 hyphen y. Tomcat installed. The next is we are going to open a, a configuration file of Tomcat and add a line like this. Okay. We are going to open this configuration file. sudo mousepad then location. Enter. The file will open. We are going to copy this line, read, write, path, d space. See here, in the security part, below, paste the here. Read, read write, path. Um, it says that d space installation folder is inside this folder. Um, Tomcat has the permission to make changes on it then only it can tomcat can work on with the t space save it and close it 
then we are going to open another configuration file another configuration file and open it on awesome. and read it well we have to find this portion of lines and we have to uncomment it that's not needed so make it comment it comment it means uh, we make it null null means make it as a comment uh, after making it comment it has no value okay we have to find this portion and uh, make it uh, comment it this is the file just to scroll down this is the portion inside otherwise you can easily find it just to copy the first line control f paste here enter it okay actually this is the line make it comment to apply comment uh, this is the symbol add this this syntax at the beginning of the line beginning of the line then <clears throat> this this syntax at the end of the line Okay, we commented it. After making comment, it looks like this. Then add this portion, copy this portion and paste there. Okay, copy this portion. This is some lines necessary for this space. We made some changes. Instead of that commented line, we are going to paste it. Okay then file save and close it we made some configurations make some changes in the configuration we are going to restart the tomcat server okay system ctl restart tomcat 9 dot service sudo system ctl restart tomcat 9 dot service Okay, we applied the command, some warning displayed. That's the usual. I mentioned here a warning will warning message will show. We can overcome this warning by applying this command. Demon reload. Demon means it's a service, we have to reload it. Then again we have to apply the restart command. Now um, the warning message does not display again. Restart it. Okay. Next is database setup. Database setup means we have to make made, made some changes in the configuration file of Postgres and make it ready ready for DSpace installation. Uh, that is the database setup. We have to login into postgresql same like login into mysql in koha's installation first we have to login copy the command apply in the terminal now the prompt changed it to postgresql at a pop os okay now we are in inside this postgresql prompt or syntax okay next we are going to apply this command we are going inside postgresql folder cd the location of the folder then create a user uh, we have to create a user and a password for 
uh, D space database. Every database need a username and password, a user account and a password. The user account user account has the right or ownership to manage this database, make changes in the database. Make changes means, suppose we create a record, uh, the bibliographical details, it, it uh, how to save it into the database. So we have to create a user for uh, this database. Uh, create a user, username Postgres, uh, super user prompt D space. Just paste here, and we have to give the password for the new username D space. D space is the username. I give the simple password D space for learning purpose. For production purpose, we have to give a complex password. Other, others cannot guess it. Once again, give the password D space. Okay, it's over. Then next command is database creation. Create DB. Uh, database name is D space. database going to create okay database creation over uh, then we have to enable uh, there is a module inside inside postgresql its name is pg crypto i think uh, this is necessary for encryption of the database okay we have to Apply this command to encrypt the database. Then exit from PostgreSQL. Okay, next is we are going inside. Um, Wait for a moment. I have someone calling me. Okay, we are going to get inside this folder, DSpace folder, uh, where a configuration file is located. We have to go inside. I will show you where the location of this folder that is stored in uh, computer build DSpace. This is the downloaded file and extracted. Uh, it is reside inside. D space config and uh, D space config. Okay, this is the location of the folder. We have to open this. Uh, this is the configuration file of D space, and uh, we have to make some changes there. Okay, we get inside this folder and we are going to open that configuration file. Uh, next command is uh, the file name is local.cfg.example. We have to change the name to local.cfg. No, 
we get inside first get inside this folder then change the file name to local.cfg okay file name change to local.cfg we are going to open this file sudo mousepad local.cfg file open this is the configuration file uh, for example i will show here uh, here mentioned database username and password db.username is d space suppose you have a, give another password instead of d space you have to mention here uh, the password you have mentioned see see here for learning purpose i given a simple password d space so you can see here suppose you give a complex password we have to change it in the configuration file and other things uh, we can see here that is uh, the location the location of the d space folder then solar server we have to uncomment it d space server url this is the url um, wait i will show here these are the very important lines inside this configuration file dspace dot server dot url this is the backend url uh, if we install it in a local system uh, its uh, url is local host local host means uh, this thing available inside this local pc not accessible from outside or someone in the network we cannot make available it in the public or internet if, if we can mention here uh, IP address or domain name instead of localhost, we can make it public. Suppose we install it in a server or cloud, we mention here uh, public IP or domain name, uh, we can make available it uh, public. Then dspace ui.url, this is a front end URL. HTTP localhost 4000 is the port of the front end. We can mention here IP address and a domain name the database username and password solar server we have to uncomment this line here solar server uh, suppose if you're not able to see the line just to copy paste this uh, element Control f enter okay uh, we can see here hash remove that hash make it valid okay otherwise it's it's a comment um, hash symbol used to make it common uh, remove that hash symbol <coughs> then file save this is a configuration file very important um, we can see other uh, mail suppose you want to uh, configure an email server suppose uh, it necessary to send emails and communication things we can add email account uh, we can mention id and password other things here we will see the detail later how to configure an email okay we go through the log configuration file and come into this line if we want to make changes anything like this space database username and password we can uh, make it okay next is we are going to install the back end of the d space uh, sudo su we are going to make uh, we are going to turn it into root user go to cd build d space 7.6.1 this is the folder we downloaded paste the line it means cd means we are going uh, we are going to enter inside uh, d space source code folder 
anyway for a beginners uh, this syntax may feel difficult because um because you nobody know, familiar with the, especially library science professionals not familiar with these things we familiar with the linux commands and the syntax we can easily understand uh, many things we do or we manage through graphical interface we apply through command lines that's the difference okay we we enter inside we are now at present inside this d space folder the next command is we are going to download the dependency file of the d space we just download the source code so many dependency files we have to download then only uh, d space will install mvn maven is the package we are going to make use to install this uh, download the dependency folder copy it paste it it going to download so many packages it this this process take a little time we have to wait it about 1 1 gb files has to download depends on the um speed of the internet it will take time okay let it work uh, we will see another thing uh, it will take time i will show you suppose you want to try uh, this d space installation in a local machine we yesterday i mentioned we want virtual machine okay uh, in virch, uh, virtual box a uh, virtual box is a software help you to create a virtual environment in your operating system either windows or linux uh, i will show you how to how to in uh, i already installed it in ubuntu uh, you can suppose you have a windows operating system go to virtual box go to virtual box website and download the package virtual box download virtual box download make a search in google this is the link to link it to the download page uh see here windows host it, if you click on windows host an exe file will download exe file will download uh, it's an exe file double click it it will install in the pc in linux file uh, operating system linux hosts if you are using ubuntu 22.04 download this package okay various version debian Uh, their own version after installation it will appear on the uh, application menu you can find the screen okay i am going to open this virtual box this is the interface of virtual box see this is the interface if you want to install ubuntu or x ubuntu in, into this virtual box first we have to create a virtual disk okay same like a computer disk we are creating a virtual disk it's a virtual disk not a physical disk okay to create a new virtual disk click on new click on click on new okay then type x ubuntu 
22.04. We are going to create a virtual disk for install xubuntu 22.04. See here type Linux version xubuntu 64 bit. When we, we type the name of the operating system, it automatically uh, select the category and other things. Okay, then click on next. Uh, same like a PC, we have to assign some virtual memory. Virtual memory means RAM. Base memory here, 60 GB RAM in my PC. You can assign, uh, for example, minimum 8 GB. 8 GB for, 8 GB for your new virtual box. Uh, the reason is that minimum 8 GB is necessary to success, successfully install D space. It need a lot of virtual memory. Base memory 8 GB I have assigned. Uh, anyway, I tried um, most of the computer has only 8 GB or 4 GB. Uh, we can create virtual box machine. I mean create, we can install it but while D space installation, uh, while installing front end of the D space, it may fail due to the lack of virtual memory. Okay, base memory is the RAM we assigned for this machine. Uh, I assigned 8 GB RAM. Otherwise, you can assign 6 GB. Then, how many CPUs you have to give to this system, this virtual memory, I mean, this virtual machine. See here, my PC laptop has 15 12 CPUs, 12 core machine, I mean 12 CPUs. We can assign here uh, 4 CPUs for this virtual machine, 4 machine, this, that's enough. First is virtual memory, second is processor. Same like configuring a physical machine, then click on next. Then how much storage? Uh, for Linux installation minimum 10 GB is okay. We can assign 20 GB for storage. 20 GB hard disk or storage. Then click on next. Okay. Summary. Finish it. This is the virtual machine we have created to install Xubuntu 22.04. Next we have to Download the Xubuntu. We can download it from uh, Xubuntu website. Xubuntu CD image. Click on it. If it take time, I will make use ISO file in my pen drive. I will copy it here.
x ubuntu not here <coughs> Okay, I, I will let it download uh, the D space package downloading is over. Okay, we apply the command MVN package, it downloaded the necessary packages into the system. Okay, next step is we are getting inside another folder D space installer, we are going to install it install this space finally uh, suppose it says that build success it download the packages and build next stage is installation if any error happens you will not get this green signal success okay say some error okay this says that the downloading and building is okay success next command is we get inside another installer folder and the next is we are going to finally deploy this D space into appropriate folders. And and is the tool which deploy these packages into uh, appropriate folders. See, build successful okay build successful uh, if it any error happens it will display here we have to build, uh, rectify the error and build it again hmm. then exit command we have to apply now we are in root prompt we have to exit from root exit next command is uh, see here we are going to copy web apps web app means some uh, source code we have to move to tomcat 9 web app folder that is necessary to um, work the space associated with the tomcat 9 that same like a uh, koha virtual machine or koha uh, apache server uh, has to identify uh, where source code of Koha uh, located, then only Apache can uh, display the web interface of Koha. Same like we have to copy the folders of DSpace into uh, Tomcat, uh, Tomcat web folders that is called web app sudo. CP means copy the entire content hyphen R of the contents into another folder. Copy it, apply it in the terminal. It moved to uh, another folder. Then uh, copy solar D space solar files into uh, the solar folder in our system. Actually, uh, the solar files associated with the D space software that is in D space source code. We have to copy it to this position or this place. Copy it, paste it. Then sudo ch on. Uh, next command is we change the ownership of this solar folder to solar user. In the installation manual, I mentioned this command line in a particular font. You can identify this is the command to apply it on the terminal. Okay. Next is we are going to start the restart the solar search engine. We made some changes. We are going to restart it uh, to make it refresh. Okay.
then you can check it solar and here we have moved some this phase uh, files into solar folder you can see here this core selector click on it these things will appear it means successfully moved the solar related files from d space into system okay then initialize the database okay we are going to uh, data migration that means uh, d space has some uh, model or template database in it we have to restore this database structure into the uh, database we have created in our system okay then only this place can work it we 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 uh, in, inject database structure into the blank database we have created uh, we have to apply a command first we get inside a folder apply the command paste it this space database migrate okay then next command is create administrative user uh, apply this command it will ask which uh, ask to create an administrative user using that administrative user we will log in into D space. That's this is a very important step. We are going to create an administrative user for D space. Using that, we will log in into D space. It asks the email address. Email address is the username. Uh, email address you can apply here like dspace at dspace. Otherwise, you can give your email address. Uh, it and at, it should be in the format of an email. So I give dspace at dspace. First name MGUL, my university name. Second name dspace. Then is the data correct? I mentioned why. Password, I give a simple password, dspace. Again, the password, dspace. dspace account creation over. Okay, I applied this command. It asks, uh, first we have to get in that folder, then migrate, then apply this command. It will ask the username and the password. Next is, change the permission of dspace to tomcat user then only tom dspace can work on tomcat and display the front end i mean um, the web, web interface this is the command uh, give the permission of tomcat assigned to dspace folder tomcat can manage the dspace folder copy it enter it Then restart Tomcat service. Okay, then we can see uh, this space uh, Rust API interface. Copy the copy the URL and paste here. See here, this space server interface we can see there. It means your installation success uh, at this point. See this interface we can see. This is the HAL browser interface. We can see here REST API interface. We can see the details here, details of the uh, my this space installation. It means your installation success of the DSpace backend.
okay next stage is we successfully installed the space backend we are going to the next stage is we are going to install the front end of the this space first thing front end required node js yarn and this space angular packages node js yarn these are the uh, java based packages we have to install to run successfully install this space front end node js is an open source cross platform backend javascript runtime environment we are going to install it okay it's over next is we are going to become root user see uh, install next thing we are going to install nvm node version manager is a tool used to manage multiple active node js versions apply the command first become sudo su so root user into terminal you are become a administrative user see here root at a pop os then copy this line install no nvm okay it's over then apply this these lines one by one okay export some uh, environment variables it says that after applying these commands close the current terminal and open a new one and following commands install node.js close this terminal and open another terminal a fresh terminal then again go to sudo su become an administrative user type the password of my user account vmail then we are going to install this node version manager version 16.18.1 this particular version necessary or suitable to install the front end of the d space and okay it's over this installation created next is install yarn yarn is a software packaging system install yarn these are some new uh, we work with java packages these are some uh, packages we have to install to run this front end of the d space next package we are going to install pm2 okay installed next is we are going to download the front end package angular d space package and going to install it we all we, in these steps we, we just finished the installation of the necessary packages or required packages to install this front end node nvm and yarn okay and pm2 next is going to download angular packages to uh, final installation of the front end 
go to home dspace account folder then we are going to download this dspace angular package dspace 7.61 front end package that's a separate package using wget we are going to download it into the system it is downloaded then unzip it unzip it the package and enter okay it unzipped next is zd home d space we are get inside this unzipped package then the installation command yarn install yarn install it will uh, download the dependency packages and uh, same like deep space backend it will download so many um, packages and necessary for this angular interface Xubuntu ISO file downloaded. It has a 3 GB size, very lightweight one. Okay, let it finish. Uh, it, I think little time it will take. Minimize it. Okay, the ISO file now. Uh, we can receive with the virtual box installation of this Xubuntu. See it downloaded in downloads folder Xubuntu 22.04 ISO file. And we have installed a virtual box for Xubuntu 24. Select it, click on settings, settings button. I have shared some uh, YouTube video how to install VirtualBox, how to install this Xubuntu or Ubuntu in, the, in, the, in this VirtualBox. Okay, select it, click on settings. Click on storage, same like storage in a computer, CD-ROM storage in a computer. This is empty. We have to attach an ISO file. Okay, storage, once again. Click on it, settings, storage, click on empty, add a disk file, choose a disk file. Uh, find the ISO file from IS, uh, download folder, open it. Okay, this ISO file added, then okay. Then start the installation, start the installation. See another operating system, open same like a booting a medium it's the first screen enter it uh, this is creating a virtual storage inside a computer okay this process over Okay, go back to installation. Uh, see the yarn installation over. Install the Angular packages. Next, we go inside CD config. Same like a configuration file we will create. At sample file is there, we rename it into config.prod.yml. Okay, apply the command cp. cp means copy. This file rename rename its name to config.prod.yml.
Okay, then we are going to open this config.prod.yml. Uh, this is very important. Okay, see, uh, this portion, this portion is important, UI, UI settings. See here, uh, whether your DSpace website need SSL certificate. You are going to enable SSL certificate for a local machine. This is not necessary. SSL false. Suppose you want to enable SSL that is necessary for make available this D space into internet. SSL necessary. We have to make it true and uh, um, make changes to enable it. Then the host is local host. Suppose you have an IP address or domain name. You can mention here. IP address to make available in the local network. Otherwise, domain name, if you want to make available in a cloud, through cloud. Port number is 4000. That is, uh, that is, that is the front end port number. Okay, that is UI. The next is REST API. We have to change SSL false. For local system, we cannot enable. If you install DSpace in a local system, not able to enable SSL in a local system. We have to make it false. Then host is, we can mention here, local host. We install in a local system. It's available only inside the system. Mention it local host. Then port number change to 8080. I clearly mentioned here what to do. See here, SSL true to false host local host change it to 8080 okay then save the file and close the file okay we are going to the next step yarn run build prod we are going to compile it. Enter it. We will, we are going to um, compile the things. After that, we can use this space. Uh, it I think it takes some time. Uh, we can take a small break. We return here at 8 15, 10 minute break. Then this phase will be ready then. Okay. Okay, our um, yarn compilation is success. Without any error messages, it completed. The next thing is, we are going to exit from root. Next is, we are going to create a file. And add these lines.
copy the lines, paste here, save it. Then again, login as sudo su. And start this file. Then add following lines into cron tab. When we start the system, it automatically start. Cron tab is a uh, service inside Linux. We can add there some instructions and schedule it. At the same time, these things will work. No need to manually enter the commands to work those things. While we start the system, these services should be auto start dspace angular. Copy this line. Paste here. Save it. Uh, we open this in a nano editor. So mouse and mouse pointer will not work. To save it, control O key combo should press. Control X to exit. Then you can try. Uh, installation is over. Then you can try. D space front end. Localhost colon port number 4000. See D space front end arrived. Then we can log in, click on login, enter the username and password, click on login. First it says an end user agreement, agree it, save it. Okay, this is the uh, DSpace front end. After successful installation, it will open. See, this installation step is very lengthy. You, we need um, good command or knowledge on this Linux commands. Then only we can understand the meaning of these commands. Then only we can successfully install this key space. We log in it as administrative user. This is the dashboard. Here we can see the settings. If you want to create new collection community process, we can see here. Import export option, access control. Then search box is here. Search box also, also we can see here. Uh, see, this interface is very different from the previous version, DSpace 6. Um, I, I have a, I will install this DSpace in cloud and give you ID and password. You can try it for learning purpose. Um, I have installed half the things. Anyway, after the class, I will finish the installation and give you 
the ID and password with the IP address. Uh, anyway, one more thing I will share with you that is these days, uh, these space like applications, most of the institution do not, uh, they do not install it their local system or local server. They make use cloud services or cloud space for the installation, hire the cloud space for the installation of DSpace 7. I will also show you how to hire a cloud service and create a space, create a virtual machine and how to start the installation. The After creating a virtual machine in cloud space, uh, you can apply the same commands in, of the DSpace 7 installation we have applied, the same commands we can apply there to install DSpace. Anyway, I will show you how to select or hire a virtual machine in cloud to install DSpace. We install this thing in my laptop, it's a local machine. Uh, these days, very convenient to install DSpace 7 in a cloud machine. See so many cloud services available. Uh, for example, Amazon, Google, and uh, uh, DigitalOcean. So many cloud services available. Their uh, rates are very reasonable. I will show you here uh, example in DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean is a cloud service provider. First, we have to visit their site, DigitalOcean, then click create an account sign up account otherwise you can sign up with a google account suppose you have a google account click on sign up with the google you can directly log in into digital ocean otherwise you can sign up with sign up a create account username and password same like gmail id then you can log in i have a logged in here this is the dashboard of DigitalOcean. After logged in, this is the dashboard of the uh, this is the dashboard of the DigitalOcean. From here, we can create a virtual machine for the installation of DSpace Seven. And before that, uh, we have to uh, attach a credit card, credit card for the payment. Then only they will allow to. Uh, create a virtual machine same like uh, electricity billing they will charge for this cloud service usage okay then only uh, first you will ask to add a debit card or credit card i think credit card they will accept see here uh, based on the usage they will charge for example seven rupees per hour based on the virtual machine capacity it will charge I have hired a DSpace uh, virtual machine for DSpace, 8 GB store memory, 25 GB hard disk, uh, 7 rupees per hour. Okay, we log in into DigitalOcean. I will show you how to create a virtual machine for, for example, DSpace or Koha installation. Here, create. Here, create button is there they have so many products and services see here droplet these are cloud server instead of a physical server we can hire a cloud server uh, from this digital ocean it's called a droplets Okay, I am going to create a cloud server. Click on droplet. First, it, we have to choose where should this server location. Suppose you are customers, user of this DSpace from mainly from India. 
you can choose a nearest server bangalore it is located in bangalore you can choose the server location bangalore suppose you install this space for london based people or uk people you can choose the server location london okay bangalore is the nearest location server location uh, this is convenient more fast uh, if we serve uh, access from india next thing is we have to choose an operating system see here uh, ubuntu fedora debian centos so many uh, so many operating system we can choose second is choosing an open operating system if we click on the ubuntu uh, in the drop down box see the version okay 20.22.04 is suitable for this space installation choose the version next is uh, droplet type type means what purpose um, for example hosting a website some small applications basic uh, storage is necessary otherwise general purpose if you, based on the selection storage and other things also change basic means see here regular uh, i mean storage ssd storage ssd storage is so faster storage uh, then nvme storage is more faster than ssd it also influence the performance of the <clears throat> virtual machine or cloud server okay based on the selection price also varies okay then uh, storage selection ssd if you want more faster nvme storage you can select see the pricing uh, for example 8 gb ram is for is uh, required for it is space you can select 8 gb ram two intel cpu 160 gb storage 5 tb data transfer data transfer means uh, uploading and downloading of uh, data this is 48 dollar per month 0.71 dollar per hour we can calculate it usd to inr Zero point seven one. That is six dollar per hour. This cloud machine will be more fast. Okay, operating system Ubuntu version. Then general purpose, more powerful machine we will get. SSD storage, NVMe, then uh, more powerful machine, so price also higher. Okay, this way we can create the virtual machine. First, we have to choose the server location, then operating system, then size of the storage, ram storage these things we have to select based on the selection price also vary then choose authentication method either as such key uh, key means it's a file using that we can log in otherwise a password password to login okay then we can create the droplet I will show you I have created a DSpace as cloud server for DSpace. This is the server for this workshop. You can click on the terminal, access console, launch a droplet console. Same like uh, this terminal, it will open. In a web, web based terminal will open. See. Uh, installation not completed. This is the last command I applied. 
same like a local machine we can apply command and install here see only difference is that this is the ip address this is the in, uh, server i have installed this is the url instead of local host see same like uh, this space we can open it that's the only difference same like installed in a local machine we can install this space in a cloud server by a cloud server install there make available in web that is very convenient suppose we install in a physical machine we have to buy public ip connect with the domain we have to need power backup and a lot of things uh, if you want to try this cloud server it's possible you have a credit card you can add it to the credit card and you will get a, a trial trial of the cloud nothing they will charge a trial for seven days you can create a machine and you try to install dspace 7 or koha uh anyway today i uh we installed dspace 7 okay one more thing to finish that is virtual box uh anyway install um this virtual box i uh, tell you because of you can try this space installation suppose you are running on a windows machine install virtual box create a virtual disk and you can install xubuntu and try this space installation once again i will tell you how to create a virtual disk install the virtual box open it click on add not add click on new name of the ubuntu type linux version ubuntu click on next base memory assign minimum 6 gb processor 12 cpus with us with me i assign 4 cpu click on next then storage give minimum 20 gb that's the total storage of this virtual machine click on next finish then we have to uh, install a, a xubuntu image iso file we download click on settings storage click on empty attach an iso file xubuntu iso file click on ok click on start same like booting from a pen drive into pc it will display iso file uh, booting into xubuntu click on try or install the install uh, it will first to go to the desktop we can try installation there You can start installation from here install ubuntu x ubuntu uh, keyboard layout english us keyboard is the keyboard we use in another country english keyboard default one is okay continue two kinds of installation normal installation minimal installation normal installation is okay uh, this we can uncheck download updates while installing x ubuntu 
normal installation means it will install the necessary applications like LibreOffice and other things. Minimal installation, only very bare installation, it will install. Okay, click on minimal installation. For server machines, this minimal installation is okay. Next is uh, how to partition your storage. Either we can erase this can install Ubuntu, it automatically partition everything. Otherwise, if you are an advanced user, uh, we can uh, partition manually and do it. For beginners, erase this can install X Ubuntu is ideal. It will automatically arrange the partition and install it. Click on install now. See, it automatically partition slice the storage and going to install Ubuntu. Your location, India, Kolkata, continue. Here we have to enter the username. For DSpace installation, don't give the username DSpace here. You can mention another username, user or for example, I work with MGUL, MGUL, my username. Password, give a strong password. You have to note down the password, don't forget it later. Login automatically after installation, whether login automatically or we have to give password to enter into the system. Anyway, for DSpace installation, don't mention username as, don't enter username as DSpace. We will create DSpace user later. Okay, user username may be a different one. Click on continue. See, uh, this, this is the installation stage. It is retrieving a scanning pack repository. If you click on here, till you minimize, if you click on here, you can see the details of installation process. Xubuntu is a very lightweight one, so we can prefer it for VirtualBox uh, installation. Otherwise, it will take too much. Uh, it's, uh, suppose you select default Ubuntu. It is very heavy weight. It will uh, make, make your system slow. This downloading package, we can click on skip it to save time. That is not necessary.
the final stage installing grub bootloader grub is a boot uh, recovery software um, it create a connection with the hardware uh, when we open the system switch on the system first grub will open and we it help us to land on the operating system anyway you can install virtual box and try yourself install two three times this linux operating system you will become master very soon then you can try dspace installation koha installation or any other software i uh, demonstrated you installation in my local system so my laptop i have installed ubuntu suppose you, you are running on windows you can install this virtual box and uh, install x ubuntu to try dspace installation You can skip this stage, downloading packages. The installation will finish soon.
Okay, it shows that installation complete. Click on restart. Okay, this is the Xubuntu screen. You can start a terminal from here. sudo apt update. And you can open the browser from here. Internet, Firefox. You can open the DSpace installation manual. DSpace Geek. Open DSpace Geek. Open the manual, apply the commands one by one, and you can install the DSpace version 7. sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade, you can make the system new. Anyway, try to install VirtualBox, try to download Xubuntu, try to install Xubuntu on VirtualBox, then try yourself if any anything difficult you feel just inform in the group i can help you um anyway today conclude the session and if you are tired of the installation actually this man step is very lengthy tomorrow we can uh, tomorrow i will get ready the koha on this space and give you the url and the username and password we can uh, start learning uh, the front end of the D space create a community collection item and uh, how to import uh, how to import you have uh, uh, details in excel file you can how to convert it into collection and import it into the space these things we'll learn tomorrow and uh, uh, other uh, things necessary to learn with the space we will cover if it's not if we could not complete it on tomorrow day after tomorrow we will continue with the uh, remaining things. Same like if you want to shut down this virtual box operating system, click on and shut down it. Any doubt regarding this installation? How to customize this space landing page? Sure, I will show you how to customize it tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Step of cloud, cloud installation. Uh, cloud installation step is same. Same of same installation step we can follow. We have a terminal, open terminal in cloud. We can apply the commands one by one. Instead of mouse pad editor, we have to use nano editor mouse pad editor will not work there instead of mouse pad we can use nano editor only then what next then how to change local host ip to ip based that also i will show it in the cloud tomorrow i will uh, tell you email in this space also i will share uh, that's very easy with the space. I will tell you how to hire a email service and how to configure with the D space. Okay, Rafik, sir. Okay, sir. There is any questions? So I think sir, uh, there is okay. No? So the last question, how how we configure the email and this space? Uh, email, uh, tomorrow we learn how to hire email service and configure with uh, this space. Uh, that's part of this space configuration. Um, this, this, this type of uh, 
configurations we will learn uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Everything we will cover. Okay. I think, uh, dear participant, everything is okay here. Yeah? Uh, so if there is any doubt, uh, you can uh, you can ask your question on the WhatsApp. You know? Okay, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Today we. At the same time. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much.